Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. I'm dealer for SQL accounting software. So if you want to make purchase, training, support, you can come to me. Please go to facebook.com slash syntax technologies to like my page so that you can have all the latest information regarding SQL accounting system and also you can make queries or questions and I'll answer accordingly. Please go to youtube.com slash syntax technologies to browse all my previous training videos. Today lesson, I'll continue with at once SQL accounting system, foreign currency. To do transaction in foreign currency, first of all, you need to go to tools and maintain the currency. For example, you maintain the US dollar, set the buy rate and sell rate. All this is only served as the default. You can change the rate during transaction. There are two types of foreign currency in S accounting system. The first type is called multi-currency. For multi-currency, after you maintain the currency, you just maintain your customer or supplier is under which currency. For example, this customer, US Corporation, is under USD. Or you go to supplier, you maintain the supplier. Okay, I'll call is under USD. So maintain the currency for individual supplier. If you have a supplier, they transact in Singapore dollar and so on, you need to separate them as for two individual. One is under USD, one is under Singapore dollar. So you can have two different statements for the individual currency. Okay, I show you an example when you do transaction under foreign currency. For example, you do a steps invoice. New. You select the customer. It's US corporation. So you can see the currency rate over here. And you just select the item. Three unit. I want to change the foreign currency into say 3.5 save then so when you print out the invoice this invoice will be under the foreign currency USD dollar okay the first type of foreign currency is the normal foreign currency, meaning that you only have Malaysia Ringgit bank account. You do not have foreign currency bank account. If you have foreign currency bank account, then you need to get the at once foreign currency module. So I show you if you only have a normal Malaysia Ringgit bank account. So you ask corporation want to make payment to you the amount you key in here is actually Ringgit Malaysia because they pay into your Ringgit Malaysia bank account so for example it's they pay you 450 Malaysia Ringgit and you take which emotion to pay and you can see that the exchange rate will show over here of course this is just an example so the rate will be Try to save, you can see that you have a exchange gain and loss. Show which here, when you press OK, you automatically go to the exchange gain and loss module. And when you check ledger, say I check the customer ledger. 
Dankeschön. So you can see this uh, currency rate for which customer and this is the actual currency transaction balance this to ringgit malaysia it will automatically convert so you can get back Just check that what is the foreign currency. It's drinking and lost account. And you see that when you check the loss in foreign currency, this uh, is drinking and loss that will automatically go into the account. So it shows that our system is automatically help you to calculate the exchange and loss. So this will be the first scenario. For second scenario is when they make payment, you do have a foreign currency account. So when they make payment, it should be three hundred sixty US dollar. So it shows the local amount is for advanced foreign currency. It will help in the sense that when you do bank reconciliation, you can do the bank reconciliation for foreign currency account. So if you see that you can do foreign currency bank reconciliation. And you always can do futures. And just accordingly follow my previous bank reconciliation video. So this is how to do foreign currency in the scale accounting system. That's all for today. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.